hello youtube uh, in this video we are going to learn the checklist overview of before installing sql server in cluster mode and i have written some of the high level points uh, here and we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, talk each point and will be detailed first point of here is uh, cluster configuration properly when i say cluster is configured properly that means that cluster, cluster is installed and have uh, <coughs> I mentioned that uh, it uh, failover become the nodes and uh, uh, cluster configurations shows no critical errors number two nodes and added are and online and in my case I have two nodes a cluster so if you're in in you in if in your case two no uh, there is two nodes cluster three node cluster all those nodes need to be added and online in cluster so number three cluster configuration report shows no critical warning right here um, critical warning for production system is not good you need to make sure that you can go ahead and cluster configuration basically talk sure uh, basically make sure and and uh, second and look at that this report and configuration anytime you anytime you want to let it show you the latest uh, configuration that we have run if you haven't and run the configuration you should go ahead and run the cluster configuration look at the report to see to see if there are any critical warning and uh, if the if there are any critical um, uh, critical warning must to be taken care of this warning uh, um, before uh, before you can start the sql server installation in production number 4 of here is static ip address of uh, sql server in my case uh, i have installed two sql server instance is sql server instance that you planning to install in cluster mode need to have own static ip address so um, you can go ahead and uh, require the one ip address per instances of sql server so number 5 is shared disk are added to the cluster and they are online keep in mind shared disk are mandatory in the requirement to install when you install a sql server in cluster mode uh, you only time you don't need share um, basically installing uh, uh, available availability group which is sql server 2012 and 2014 feature that you don't need to share this in this demo we are basically talking about sql server installation in cluster mode so number 5 uh, best practices for shared disk uh, uh, separate disk for data log uh, um, tem db and backup uh, uh, db <coughs> Uh, separate disk and uh, mm, uh, you must have to keep a separate disk for data log and tmdb and backup devices so um, tmdb and uh, you have backup new beacon and uh, uh, number seven is msdtc role is uh, ms microsoft distribution transaction coordinator this role is uh, need to be configured on if are using if you're going to install sequence server to it in 2005 but in 2008 r2 and above you really don't need msdtc configured on cluster uh, uh, cluster because um, uh, 2008 r2 and above we use uh, the local dtc services of the node that they are running node so basically optional so um, some people like to have dtc services role configured um, if you do want to do that make sure that ms dtc services role is configured uh, if you require your own disk and that disk is um, there to disk configure properly so next thing i'm gonna uh, walking through and my cluster configuration and we'll go go through each of these points that we have talked um, see everything looks okay and in there uh, that way you can uh, uh, take in the reference in this demo uh, um, when you're ready to install so uh, mainly to uh, as so here is my uh, one node and I can see that I can, I, I can see that I have a failover cluster here is my one node as you can see that I have failover cluster manager right here and uh, my cluster name is TBS 2012 cluster right here um, that expand that uh, let's expand everything right here when you click on cluster name uh, you will get nice information right here that uh, first of all name of the cluster uh, the current host uh, where the cluster services are being hosted uh, right now uh, it, it's um, node one 
and network cluster in network one and two and uh, and uh, one is heartbeat and other is for external communication that means there's communication between uh, cluster nodes and you and host and your uh, organization network mm, one private uh, that is communication between node that you have added in this cluster and uh, mm, recent cluster um, uh, 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 recent uh, cluster event just now I have recent the events so this is very important if something happened to your cluster you do want to uh, uh, get, get the cluster event see that what went wrong and why the cluster fail over and or even some of the warnings information that you like to uh, do um, basically go ahead and look at cluster events so um, what I was talking about F as far as checklist goes the checklist needs to be up and running and needs to be one of the node and right here it's uh, it, um, it, uh, um, right here it's uh, at TBS node 1 and this is what I was uh, talking about new validation report do need to look at and configuration report or validation uh, you can click on here and um, that it will take you to latest report that you have run uh, you need to make sure that uh, this report doesn't show any critical warnings and there are sometimes warning there are small warning that you can go ahead and basically ignore that uh, just one you that you go is a firewall is on or off and uh, mm, something like that that you know that it's not going to it's not going to create any issue for you uh, you can ignore that but any critical warning uh, just uh, if you're into preparing the cluster uh, sql server production please go through dot mm, so uh, next step is next step here notes we're talking about uh, uh, notes I, um, I will come back uh, we in roles um, install two sql server instances i don't want to show you right now uh, in the um, uh, uh, this uh, right now would uh, we are good we just looking out uh, this is the prior to the installation of sql server i have to know that if you have more than two net you will see all those nodes up and running here and the keep in mind that none of the nodes should be um, really offline uh, i am that's even in i i'm just in, in intentionally did it you don't want to use that uh, node for sql server installation uh, disk of here uh, this is shared disk and um, each instances need to have own set up shared disk so keep in mind um, uh, install node more than one instances you um, if you install more than one instances so you should have more than one shared disk shared, shared disk right here I have one two three four um, right here and uh, three four and other instances so basically uh, three for one instances uh, sql proc sql proc and um, this point is take brothers msdtc role and um, i recommend that and i have basically configured dtc in cluster so um, in in in, in co configure that uh, that is need to be all those disks need to be online and make sure next important thing is networks uh, keep in mind that uh, uh, there should be two network at least one is um, private uh, it says the cluster only they should be up and running and it's an also known as heartbeat you want to make sure that heartbeat is okay cluster and uh, 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 this is external you can click on any resources and look at the summary and go look at the detail by in the network connection as far as network goes and uh, anything that you want to look at you can go ahead and basically click on that and look at the um, detail uh, what is uh, uh, particular resource is there for uh, so let's go back to roles and um, click on that and as you can see that I have installed SQL Server 2 SQL Server instances right now uh, mm, both running on uh, uh, node 1 uh, and right here and SQL UIT and SQL Prod and MSDTC role is running but um, as far as this demo goes so basically what I want to show you that um, uh, the checklist that you need to look at uh, you need to look at your cluster configuration before you install SQL Server instance becomes a SQL it is always good idea otherwise your installation may fail in the middle and you don't want to do that and uh, if your installation SQL Server in cluster mode fails between the four network uh, bring it back normal so um, that's the checklist that I wanted to basically share with you and also right here uh, this is the checklist I have shared in cluster overview 
this is the bit more detail and fail over the, the preparing node for cluster so um, this is already up and and black and also attached so you can download this um, checklist this is the cluster checklist and it will go through and each and everything that i have done and wants to watch that and video i have